Uh, on our next topic is the basic terrain modeling. Uh, I think we will go to the top viewport again, press T, and let's press F4 so we can have a faces, etc. faces also. But first, before we start modeling uh, terrain, we need to set up the material. And again, we need some textures. So let's grab some. And uh, let's see what we have here. Let's bring that one. Our main, main grass, secondary grass, uh, third, and then we need uh, some multiply map. We need a normal map for grass, and of course the gravel, gravel tap normal map. Okay, let's copy this one, these uh, to our sandbox assets maps for. Now we have uh, textures for terrain sh shader, what we will set up next. So let's bring up our material editor again. And uh, let's say our material name is grass. Simple. And let's define that material should be a G model material. Let's give it a little bit specular color. And let's find out multi-layer grass dust dirt shader. And now we set up the textures and channels again. All this information can be found in the R Factor wiki, how to set up the shaders for real road and terrain. So let's make this quick one. So let's select our first main texture, this main grass, this Bermuda, and let's leave it to channel 1 and make it visible in the viewport. Second one is uh, our secondary grass, which is weeds. It's a little bit dirt and something like that on the grass. We will find it visible later. And that needs own mapping channel. This is two in this case. And our third grass texture, let's make it gravel trap. And that's its channel three. Fourth one is uh, we need a multiply map for that. Let's use that one. And that should be go to the channel of four. Four. That we, then we need uh, normal maps for main grass and gravel traps. So main grass normal map is this one. And the gravel trap normal map is that one, which contains grooves. Okay, so let's be it. So now we have set up our multi-layer multi grass shader, which we will be used with the terrain. And we have material ID, EID2 on that material. So let's model some terrain. Let's hide our material editor, editor by pressing M. And this is uh, what I'm going to do here. I'm going to track uh, some new police 
from the edge. So let's select some edge here. And we're working on the top viewport again. And by unselecting, we want uh, only this edge over here. So we, we, we will be unselecting these. So let's press Alt button and select them. Again. So now we have a here in a piece of edge. And we will be extruding this quickly by uh, shift and hold, uh, pressing shift and hold it. I track a little bit. We have new police here. Let's track a little bit more. Next row of police. And let's make a third one over here. Now we have a new police over here. And this is, will be our terrain. So let's select those police. And we want uh, the terrain being in uh, in the individual object, so we we need to detach, detach this uh, police from the real road. So in the polygon, select it, edit poly polygons, roll out. We have a detach button. Let's press that. And let's give it the name grass uh, grass O one. Okay. And now, when we roll back, uh, roll down to the edit polygons, roll out, we can see it still uses the reload material. But as we just made the new material for the terrain, grass, we can see use. ID number two, so it uses material two. Now we need to map this thing. So we bring up the uh, we be, uh, unwrap OVV modifier. Let's select it, edit, which opens the OVV editor window. We select all this and press quick planar map. So now flattens the polygons. But as we can now see, uh, we need to, uh, this grass uh, needs to be scaled much, much bigger to look good. So let's scale it a little bit, even more. Let's zoom some closer. I think we are pretty good now. We can close the editor. And connect it back to the poly. So now we have our first channel map it. So if we ah, look our material again, what we just done, we map it our mine grass folder uh, gra uh, grass uh, texture in channel one. So next, what we need to do, we need to Map the second channel, uh, second grass, which uh, lays on mapping channel two. So let's bring that texture visible. Uh, unwrap UVM modifier again, select faces. We are mapping, uh, selecting channel two. Edit. Let's scale it a little bit differently. Okay, we are happy. Let's convert it back to the poly. And what's next? Let's go back to our material by pressing M. On channel three, we have a gravel trap texture. Let's make that visible in v -port. Select all polys. Unwrap. Let's select all this and edit. And let's give it a little bit different chords like that and convert it back to the poly. 
And let's go back to our material by pressing M. Our next stage is our multiply map, which uses mapping channel 4. So make that, let's make that visible. Select all polygons. Unwrap modifier. Map channel 4. Let's select all faces and edit. We will select all polys here. And give it a little bit different mapping codes again. And I think we are happy now. Okay, let's check out. Let's bring up the material editor again by pressing M. Let's see what we have here. There's a crash normal map, which already has mapped as uh, it uses the same mapping chords as our main crash texture. And same thing with the gravel tap trap and normal map, which use same mapping chords. Actually, it should use mapping channel 3, I think. Okay, let's check it out in the wiki. Let's go to the modern information. Multi crust dirt. That's correct. Normal map uses mapping channel 3. Okay. So let's bring our main grass visible again. I'm pressing F4 to get the uh, wireframe over of the polys. We are actually ready now to export this. So let's go to the hammer tab again. And let's see what we have here in the instance rollout. Collide hat, that's correct. Uh, deform, we don't need to use deform only on the real world. All other terrain should use the collide and hat. And again, we want to uh, tick the Omni, so the crash will be visible in nighttime under night lights. And use the Gmoto material. Again, yeah. Now I think we are ready to export. So let's do mess. And now, when we have an additional object in our scheme file, uh, on our track, we need to generate a new scene file. So let's select all these objects and hit the do scene button over here. Convention is successful. So let's bring up this, our track viewer and load it there. Let's see what happens. Oh, shit. Something went wrong. Let's see what we have here. Gray surface and grass. Ah. Okay, it loses the correct path, so I need to define it again. Oh, fact. Whatever. Locations. Sandbox. Sandbox GD. So you can find the correct scene file there. That is correct. Let's try again. Hmm, this is interesting. Very interesting. Hmm, okay. So now we have a, a piece of terrain over here. And as you can see, uh, we have uh, our third texture visible over here. And with the terrain shader, uh, we can uh, use the ver vertex paints and vertex colors 
to define what texture is visible uh, in the Terra. So let's go back to the 3ds Max. Let's bring our grass. Let's select all vertices and change the color for red. Let's export it again. Ah, okay. Sorry. Let's do it again. Wrong color. <laughs> Let's make them blue. Export it again. And voila. Now we have our main texture over here. So what we just did, uh, we bring out certain textures from vertex color. So in blue color, we have our main texture visible. Green color, we have our secondary grass texture visible. And red color, we have our third grass or gravel trap or whatever visible. So let's play around a little bit. So I take this one. Let's change the color to red. Let's make a few words here also red. And let's export it. And let's let's see how it looks in game. As you can see, I define these uh, it's words to red and it brings up the, our third texture on the material which is gravel trap in this case also i paint those uh, few words in the middle of the terrain area to red so it brings up the the gravel trap there so this is very flexible shader and you can uh, you can use um, it's very creative way to make your terrain look uh, like you like you want. It, it's very very good one. And when you get used to it, you can use the vertex paint modifier, which makes you well, no, okay. Let's apply the vertex paint modifier. Let's give a color red or let's bring color green let's make the brush size a little bit smaller and let's let's make it look here so I bring up the color display shaded so let's paint a little bit green over here and let's export it Now we can look again how it looks like in game. Okay, here can you see paint visible our secondary grass over here. We have our third texture, uh, third grass, which is gravel trap in this case, and our main main grass texture. So, so this is this is the way how you can make very very good terrains on your tracks.